Hey guys, if you took a look at the new 2021 Phoenix catalog, I'm sure you spotted this guy in there. It is super cool and a great working man's light. If you're a mechanic or you're a tradesman, this dude's going to do a lot for you. Let's go through this guy top to bottom. Stick with us. This little guy here is the new Phoenix WT16R flashlight. It is IP66 rated. It can handle a one meter impact. It has a nice strong magnet on the back. It has a great belt clip here and another magnet on the bottom. You have USB-C charging. That is awesome. It's nicely protected underneath this piece of rubber. Charges very fast and it has a great runtime. You have one button here that operates the whole thing. You could just see this green light here. That is a battery meter. It's going to be green. It's going to be green blinking. It's going to be red or red blinking, and that's just going to lower the charge. Now, this stuff works simple. I'm just going to walk you through it very quick. If I push and hold this button, it's going to turn the light on whatever mode it was on before. If I push it quickly, it'll move it up. There's high, low and medium. If I push and hold again, it will turn it off. Now if I push and hold, turns this spotlight on first all the time. If I push and hold a little bit longer, it will turn on our floodlight. And then I can go through those settings. This is the yellow blinking setting. We have medium and high here. If I push and hold, it'll come back to the front. Or if I would have let off a little quicker, it would have just turned the light completely off. Now in those settings, we have two LED lights up front. If I just go through this super quick, if we're on high 300 lumens, about three hours, it will work its way down slightly in the high setting only. That's 3200 candela. If I drop down to low here, that's 30 lumens, about 30 hours it will run on this. Medium is nine hours at 100 lumens. Now medium and low, it will not drop down. It'll hold those settings. If we go over to the floodlight, the floodlight on high, 300 lumens, three hours, 130 candela, it will slowly drop itself down on high. It'll basically get itself down to the secondary setting here, which is 100 lumens, 50 candela, but this medium setting would hold and not drop down for nine hours. And then you have this yellow flashing, which I assume is for emergencies. I have no clue how long that's going to last, but this light is nice, small, and it feels really good in your hands. You have knurling on the sides, this belt clip in back feels good to hang on to, unlike some that I've seen. Now, what I'd like to point out with this is that magnets are extremely, extremely good. I love it. Every little thing. I mean, I can take this magnet and put it in a lot of different situations. And I was thinking if I had this in the right position, yeah, I mean, even on the knife edge, I can hold that up. But what I want to point out is this light is 100% plastic. It's got a plastic lens here. You can see I can get in there and grip a little bit. It's all plastic here. The spotlight is plastic. The only thing that we have is metal is our switch. You can probably hear that. And then our belt clip. Everything here is sealed. You're not going to take this guy apart. And it's in the instructions that if you do take it apart, you do void your warranty. I'm sure you can get in here and do something, but basically here, everything is sealed. Most of this is plastic. Let's go through and show you how it works. 300 lumens is not that crazy of a light, but it does work well. So if you did want to use this outside, you could easily use this as a nice flashlight outside. It would show you everything you needed to see, but I really look at this as a supplemental light. If we take this down, here's our low setting, which is quite low, but it would easily work in an outside setting, but it's a great supplemental light again. And medium is just a touch brighter. Realistically though, this just stands out to me as a very cool light. Now, if we turn this on, see where we're at here is our flood mode. And although this is not a ton of candela, if I back up here, 
look at how much light that we are actually putting out in a flood pattern. I mean, we are lighting up a ton of area. If we change this around, we can see all the way to the back of the shop. It's wonderful. Here's our yellow flashing. And then we go to a low mode. Now even on low, you can see the amount of light that's spread out. And I show you this more because at night, because you can't really see when I have the camera on in the daytime how much extra light you get with this flood mode, but it works awesome if you're underneath a car or if you're under the hood, anywhere you're at, this little guy is sweet. So to me, it's important to have good magnets because if you're working on a car or wherever you're putting these magnets, I mean, you want them to stick. Last thing you want to do is have an impact wrench going. Next thing you know, your light's falling. I just want to show you how good this magnet is. And yeah, it's moving around, but at the same point, it's not falling. There it did. So the back magnet that's on the belt clip has worked excellent for me. I'm actually surprised it fell. And I continue to hit this harder just to see if I can get it to fall. Maybe it was the location. But either way, if I hit it hard enough, it'll fall, but I guarantee you, you will never have an impact wrench that's going to be just pounding on something like that. These magnets actually really rock. So for someone who's working, this light is perfect. Now the downsides to having such a powerful magnet is that you will pick up every little fine piece of metal that is around and it will stick to that. Not that it's a huge deal, but I've found more staples or anything else, little shavings of metal. It's, I'm just cleaning it off constantly and it's not that big of a deal, but if you're not working or going to use this with magnets or a, and a magnetic surface, then you'll know that this is going to attract every little piece of metal that you can think of. And that's just simply how it is. The belt clip for me has been good. I don't wear it on my belt much because I'm finding myself realistically using it more than not. But for the, the guys who want to wear it there, it has a nice detent so it will hold it into place. Realistically, to me, this shines as something to put on something, put magnetically onto a car, onto an, an engine compartment, anywhere like that. Just get it in there, get your work done and rock on. This flood lamp mode here is really what sells me on this light without this flood lamp mode and I could do without the yellow blinking some of you guys might like that but this flood lamp mode here is really what I'm using 99% of the time the flashlight that's up front is simply just a bonus to have this on here I'm gonna leave more information on the battery sizes and everything else that's in there in the description this is a new light that's coming out it's hard to even find any information on this I did find it in the Phoenix catalog and I was able to find one online with a ton of searching. I will try to put some links in the description to help you guys out if I can find some more. I appreciate your time watching this video. Please give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, have a great day.